You're probably following the AI battle between Sam Altman and Elon Musk and wondering which next-gen chatbot will actually be worth your time and money when they finally drop. Well, I've been diving deep into all the leaked details, official hints, and industry rumors, and I discovered something that completely changed how I think about this upcoming race. While everyone's debating theoretical features and predicted benchmarks, there's a fundamental difference between Altman's ChatGPT6 strategy and Musk's Grok5 vision that most people are completely missing. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts. Click the newsletter link in the description for weekly analysis delivered straight to your inbox. So in this video, I'm going to break down the real battle happening between these AI titans and show you exactly what each model is expected to bring to the table. We'll dive into their planned reasoning capabilities, safety approaches, and accessibility roadmaps so you can make the smartest choice for your needs when they launch. Plus, I'll reveal the surprising timeline differences that could completely change when you'll actually get your hands on these tools. First up, let's talk about how these two completely different philosophies are shaping the future of AI, the mind behind the machine, how they actually think. Here's where things get fascinating. Both ChatGPT6 and Grok5 are absolute powerhouses, but they're approaching intelligence in completely different ways. Think of it like comparing a master chess player who studies every move for hours versus a speed chess champion who relies on lightning-fast intuition. OpenAI's GPT-5 already revolutionized how we think about AI, reasoning with something they call a smart two-mode brain. Picture this. When you ask a simple question, it switches to auto mode and gives you an instant response. But when you throw it a complex problem that requires deep thinking, it automatically shifts into think mode and takes its time to work through the logic step by step. It's like having an assistant who knows exactly when to give you a quick answer and when to really sit down and analyze the situation. But here's where ChatGPT6 is about to change everything. Sam Altman has been hinting at something he calls persistent memory. And this isn't just about remembering your last conversation. We're talking about an AI that actually learns who you are, how you work, and what you need over time. Imagine having a collaborator who remembers your writing style, your project preferences, and even anticipates what you're going to ask for next. That's the vision Altman is painting for GPT-6. Now, Musk's team at XAI took a completely different approach with Grok4, and it's honestly pretty brilliant. Instead of building one super brain, they created what's essentially a study group of AI agents. When Grok4 encounters a tough problem, it doesn't just think harder. It literally spawns multiple AI sub-agents that work on different parts of the problem simultaneously. It's like having a team of specialists all tackling your challenge from different angles at the same time. Wait until you see this next part. Grok4 already demonstrated something incredible on what researchers call humanity's last exam benchmark. This is a test so difficult that it's designed to challenge the very limits of AI reasoning. And Grok didn't just pass, it beat Google's best models. But here's the kicker. Musk claims Grok5 might actually achieve AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, by the end of this year. That's a bold claim that has the entire AI community either excited or terrified. The real difference comes down to strategy. ChatGPT6 is betting on deep, personalized, multi-step reasoning that gets better the more it knows about you. Grok5 is doubling down on parallel processing power and real-time knowledge that can tap into live web data and social media feeds. Both approaches will be incredibly sharp, but they're playing completely different games. The numbers game, accuracy, safety, and everything else that matters. Let's talk about what really matters when you're using these tools day to day. GPT-5 already achieved what OpenAI calls expert level performance across coding, mathematics, writing, and visual analysis. But here's what caught my attention. Altman specifically mentioned that GPT-6 will focus heavily on reducing those frustrating hallucinations where the AI confidently tells you something that's completely wrong. This is actually a bigger deal than most people realize. 
when you're relying on AI for important work. Accuracy isn't just nice to have. It's essential. OpenAI has had more time to refine their safety systems, and it shows in their consistency. ChatGPT rarely gives you answers that are completely off-base, even if it sometimes plays things too safe. Grok 4's performance numbers are genuinely impressive, though. The benchmarks show it outperforming many established models on complex reasoning tests, and Musk isn't shy about sharing those victories. But here's where it gets interesting. Musk himself admits that Grok still needs to catch up on reliability. It's like having a brilliant but occasionally unpredictable colleague versus a steady, dependable one. The safety philosophies couldn't be more different, and this is where your personal preferences really matter. ChatGPT follows strict guardrails that make it incredibly reliable for businesses, educators, and anyone who needs consistent, appropriate responses. The downside. Sometimes it can feel overly cautious or give you those polite non-answers when you're looking for something more direct. Grok was intentionally built with more personality and fewer filters. Early versions would crack jokes instead of giving you standard refusals, and Musk proudly calls it unfiltered. This has led to some interesting moments, including a social media incident where Grok accidentally posted anti-Semitic content. XAI has tightened things up since then, but Grok still maintains that looser, more irreverent personality that some users absolutely love. When it comes to handling images and multimedia content, ChatGPT5 is already fully multimodal. It can analyze images, generate visuals through DALLE, and even process audio. Grok started adding image generation with their Aurora mode, but as Musk himself pointed out, Grok 4 is still essentially text only when it comes to analysis. Grok 5 promises to change that, but for now, ChatGPT has a clear advantage in visual tasks. But here's where Grok has a secret weapon, real-time knowledge. While ChatGPT works with a training cutoff, Grok can search the web and pull in live social media posts, including real-time information from X. If you need the absolute latest information or want to know what's trending right now, Grok has a massive advantage. The memory and context capabilities tell an interesting story. GPT-5 already handles hundreds of thousands of words per conversation, which means you can have incredibly long, detailed discussions without losing context. GPT-6 is expected to add that persistent memory layer I mentioned earlier. Imagine an AI that remembers your preferences, your projects, and your communication style across multiple sessions. Grok4 can handle around 256,000 tokens, which is substantial, but it's the real-time aspect that makes it unique. However, only ChatGPT-6 is explicitly designed to remember you personally over time which could be a game-changer for long-term productivity. Getting your hands on these AI powerhouses. This is where the rubber meets the road. How do you actually use these tools, and what's it going to cost you? ChatGPT-6 will follow OpenAI's established playbook. GPT-5 launched in August 2025 and is available through the ChatGPT web interface, mobile apps, and their developer API. OpenAI offers a free tier with limitations, a $20 monthly ChatGPT Plus subscription that unlocks GPT-5 features, and enterprise plans for businesses. You'll also find GPT-5 integrated into Microsoft's ecosystem through Bing Chat and Office Copilot. When GPT-6 arrives, expect a similar rollout strategy. Developer previews and Plus subscribers will likely get early access, followed by wider availability. OpenAI's Dev Day in October 2025 is rumored to showcase GPT-6 technology, so keep an eye on that event. Pricing will probably stay within the ChatGPT Plus tier, though there might be a new pro level for power users who want those advanced reasoning capabilities. Grok takes a completely different approach to accessibility. It's deeply integrated into the X ecosystem, which means X Premium subscribers get Grok access as part of their subscription. This is actually pretty clever. Instead of creating a separate AI service, 
Musk bundled it into the social platform people are already using. For power users, XAI offers SuperGrok and SuperGrok heavy tiers with higher usage limits. They also have a developer API for businesses that want to integrate Grok into their own applications. But here's what's really interesting. XAI is planning to integrate Grok into Tesla vehicles. Early code references suggest future Tesla updates might put Grok AI right in your car's dashboard. The geographic availability differs too. ChatGPT is available worldwide through OpenAI and Microsoft partnerships, while Grok is available wherever X operates, with some regional restrictions. Both have mobile apps and web interfaces, but ChatGPT has broader third-party integrations across platforms like Slack and WhatsApp. What's fascinating is how these different approaches reflect each company's broader strategy. OpenAI is building ChatGPT as a standalone AI assistant platform, while Musk is weaving Grok into his entire ecosystem of companies. The race against time. When you'll actually get these tools. Here's where things get really exciting and where the competition between Altman and Musk becomes most apparent. Musk is moving at his characteristic lightning pace. He recently tweeted that, Grok 5 will be out before the end of this year and it will be crushingly good. That's his exact words. And knowing Musk's track record with ambitious timelines, even if he's optimistic, we're probably looking at a Grok 5 release sometime in late 2025 or early 2026 at the latest. The speed of XAI's development is honestly incredible. They've released four major versions in under two years, which is a pace that would make most tech companies dizzy. Given that previous Grok models started with free beta access, Grok 5 might debut with an open trial on X or as a paid upgrade on their platform. OpenAI is playing a more cautious game with ChatGPT6. Sam Altman has hinted that GPT-6 is already in development and will arrive faster than the 28-month gap between GPT-4 and GPT-5. That suggests we're looking at early 2026 to 2027 for a full public release. Analysts are predicting before December 2027 at the latest. But here's the thing about OpenAI's approach. They're not just racing to market. They're building something that's designed to remember you, understand your context, and integrate seamlessly into your daily workflow. That kind of persistent memory system requires solving complex privacy and security challenges that take time to get right. We might see some GPT-6 technology demonstrated at upcoming developer events, but the full public launch will likely be more controlled and phased than Grok's approach. OpenAI tends to roll things out gradually, first as research previews, then to plus subscribers, and finally to the free tier. So here's the timeline reality. If you want cutting edge AI performance right now, Grok 5 is almost certainly going to arrive first. But if you want an AI that truly understands and remembers you over time, CHATGPT6 might be worth the wait. The verdict, two visions of AI's future. What we're really witnessing here isn't just a competition between two chatbots. It's a fundamental disagreement about what AI should become. Sam Altman's team is betting on long-term memory, deep personalization, and polished reliability. They want to build an AI companion that grows with you, learns your patterns, and becomes increasingly valuable over time. Elon Musk's XAI is pushing for raw computational power, unfiltered responses, and integration across his technology empire. They want to build an AI that's fast, irreverent, and connected to real-time information. It's the difference between having a thoughtful, reliable advisor and having a brilliant, unpredictable collaborator. For AI enthusiasts, this competition means we're about to enter an incredibly exciting period. Imagine having an assistant that not only knows your projects inside and out, but can also crack jokes, search the latest news, and give you unfiltered opinions when you need them. Both approaches have their place, and honestly, the real winners will be users who get to choose based on their specific needs. As these release dates approach, watch for the subtle details that will make all the difference.
Altman has been dropping hints about memory systems and customization sliders that could let you adjust your AI's personality and approach. Meanwhile, Musk continues to promise crushingly good performance with possible AGI capabilities that could fundamentally change how we think about artificial intelligence. One thing's absolutely certain. By 2026, the AI landscape will look completely different from today. We're not just getting incremental improvements. We're getting two radically different visions of what AI can become. Whether you prefer deep personalization or real-time connectivity, whether you want careful safety or creative freedom, this battle is going to give us options we've never had before. The race between ChatGPT6 and Grok5 represents more than just technical competition. It's about the future of human AI interaction. And honestly, that's exactly the kind of competition that drives innovation forward. Keep those notifications on, because when these titans finally duke it out in the real world, you're going to want a front row seat to history in the making. This analysis is based on official statements from OpenAI and XAI, along with comprehensive coverage from leading technology publications tracking AI developments throughout 2025.